Everybody. Welcome to another episode of Division 3 Week here. Uh, today we got a couple superstars. We got Kate Whitney, softball pitcher for our Monks team here. And then we also have uh, track and field cross country superstar Sarah Curtin. Uh, so going into today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to have uh, Kate show Sarah how to throw some softball pitches. Uh, I've never thrown any of my day, so I don't really know how to do that stuff. I got cut from the eighth grade baseball team, so I, I definitely shouldn't be teaching anybody anything. Uh, Sarah, you got you got any uh, experience throwing softballs at all? I got no. I don't even have teeth. Wow. I, and I, I get, sent you guys an email saying you're going to do this, so you didn't warm up before you know, the camera. That's, that's tough. Well, uh, we're going to get started here. We're going to have Kate uh, kind of walk us through uh, you know, when you're on the mound, you know, the batter steps up to the plate, like, what's going through your mind? Just focusing on where you can do the ball. Just focus on the glove, focus on the pitch that you catch your balls, and try to throw it best you can. So, uh, just give me a couple pitches, like, show me how you hold balls, certain balls and stuff. Uh, All right. Just walk us through a couple. So, for my fastball, I throw a four seam. So, you have uh, four fingers around the seam like that. For my changeup, I throw a horseshoe like this. Drop ball, give me your three fingers, one in the middle, two on the outside of the seams. Mm -hmm. and then for my curve, rise, and screw, all I do is just put this finger into a circle. Wow. I don't think I could do that. Wait, can I see that real quick? So, so, like, so like, yeah. like that, and then you just... And then, yep, and then you just move in your wrist different ways to release it. Oh. Yeah. Alright, seems uh, easy. Alright, so here we are. Sarah, I know like you got the track and field, you got the cross country on the trails and on the track. What kind of skills can you use from that to, you know, throw in some heat with the softball? Well, my arms are very well rested. You know, never use them. Just don't, don't do them. Oh, okay. You know? right. So the arms are ready to yeah, go. Ready to go. Got, got the stride down. The sh Take a step. Wow. I wouldn't know I'm a thrower. I, I don't do that <laughs> stuff. Uh, Alright Kate, so we're going to get on into it now. Uh, we're going to have our, our great catcher over here, Mark Corey. Hey Sam, hello. <laughs> uh, we're going to get some pitches going real quick. Um, so you're just going to pretend that there's a pitching plate and you're going to have your left foot and your right foot. Your left foot is going to be behind your right foot. This is going to be like butt shoulder width apart. You always have to, when you get on the mound, you have to have the ball and your gloves separate. Two hands separated. Oh, we 
got ourselves 102 over here. New softball pitcher? It was beginner's luck, you know? Runs out. There it is. I probably would have swung on that. All right. Um, just a question for both of you. Kate, I'll start with you. Uh, Division three week. You know, it's a, it's a week recognizing student athletes. Being the wonderful pitcher that you are, <laughs> um, what would you say is your favorite part of the entire student athlete experience at the Division Three level? Um, the sense of family you get from being on team here, yeah. like especially at this school, um, it's amazing. Like right from freshman year, you're a part of something like that's more than yourself, and it's a really good feeling. Oh. Uh, so, just about a question, uh, if you were to pick one person on your team and you're stranded on an island with them, who would it be and why? For my team? Yeah. For your team. No, I'm going to have people mad at me if I picked the wrong person. I mean, um, or give, give, us, uh, give us two if you need okay. two. If I was going to pick two people. I would be stuck with Caitlin King. Caitlin King. And Megan Eagleston. Oh yeah. boy. Oh yeah. That would be entertaining. <laughs> now now why? Why? Um they're two of my really good friends on the team. Caitlin is the other pitcher with me and Megan has been our catcher for two years now. So wow. we all have a pretty good relationship. Oh that pitcher catcher. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I see what we're getting at. Sarah, now going to you. Not the island question yet. No. Um, but just your experience here being a student athlete. Uh, in at the Division Three level, um, what's been your favorite part of it uh, so far? I think I have to go the same as Kate. I think being part of the team is a great experience. It's a privilege to be on one, and you get so close with everyone, and your coaches are supportive. Even like the other student athletes, we all go to games and hang out, and it's just a really great way to meet people. Awesome. Um, so, really serious question here. Really serious. Track and field or cross country? Definitely track and field. Oh, let's go. <laughs> all right. There it is. Uh, that, that's my teammate right there. Let's go. Uh, all right. So lastly, all right, you got to pick one person. All right, I'll give you two since I gave Kate two. Two people from, it could be one cross country, one track, a uh, mix of both, whatever the case may be. Pick two people. If you're sharing on an island, why would you pick them? And yeah, obviously, who would they be? Okay. I'd pick... I think Lauren Lecomte and Maureen Harley because they were my day ones, you know? We all came in together, so it was a lot of fun. Oh, all right. <laughs> Easy answer there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode here of Division Three Week here. Thank you guys for coming out, and thank you for showing us how to throw some heat with the softball. Much appreciated. Once again, stay tuned. Thank you.